Auto stands for Alles Dur Ufening, which translates as everything through practice. Like two of our over 70 staff members practicing before the lads show up. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Welcome in. It's episode two with Otto Den Hog. If you're seeing this on the day that episode one came out, we must have hit that like target. Even if we haven't, go back and hit that like button on this one and that one. But my friends, I told you, I told you we were going to take a look at some of our staff members. This is how I like to play foot manager is I don't like to go look up lists of the best wonder kids or best assistant managers or scouts or anything like that. I think it's more realistic to put an ad up and see who applies. And so... We've apparently drawn some managers or assistant managers or scouts out of retirement, including Johan Boskamp here. He's 71. He's going to be 72 shortly. He took a three-year deal. Is he going to... <laughs> is he going to be here in three years or is he just going to retire? Um, prior experience, scout for Feyenoord, manager for Beveren, Dender, Standard... Um, Stoke City, I mean, he's, he's had quite the career. Um, not actually half bad, right? Like, he's definitely an attacking mental youth coach, right? Like, so I thought for an assistant manager at the under-18 level, man management could be better, sure. But the, the player ability and potential, because we have so many, I thought that was kind of important. We've also signed Werner Derfa. I believe that is correct. 70 years old, Belgian scout, was the scout for Anderlecht, was the chief scout for Anderlecht from 2000 to 2009 before, I guess, taking a demotion to just being a scout, maybe when he retired <laughs> in 2009 to 2018, but he's come out of retirement for us, 18 adaptability, 14 judging player ability and potential. Yay. The last one I'll show you is Renee Wagner here, who is our under 18s manager. Uh, prior experience with SC Weiner Neustadt. Now, first Weiner Neustadt or SC, you know, in case in case you want to look them up. Um, but uh, overall, looked all right, and he applied. The other thing I want to show you before we hop into the IX game is we did sell three of our B team players. Um, I believe they were all B-team players. First up, Amin S. Abri, 64 grand, about his value. The good thing with every single one of these sales, well, two of these sales, I should say, is we got a 30% of the profit of their next sale clause built in. I think you can tell why I sold him, but if they sell him for whatever, 100 grand, like every little bit counts when you're strapped for cash. And so trying to offload some of our, our youngsters you know, he freed up what I think it was on 160 a week. But, you know, if you free up eight 160 week players, next thing you know, you can afford a thousand a week player. So we're trying to do that a little bit, not to mention we're getting paid for doing so. And we've got the selling clause. Same thing with, uh, I think it's Martin Reeder, um, worth 50 grand, you know, had some good passing and technique and all that kind of stuff. But I just thought, Eh, let's cash in. We sold him for 93 grand with a 30% clause. You can tell he's worth 50 uh, grand there with Shrewsbury. And then um, Julian van der Kwok, I don't know, valued it at, at zero. He took an amateur contract. Someone explained that one to me. We did sell him for 58 grand. Now, there's no sell-on uh, clause, which is probably a good thing since he's on an amateur contract. They essentially gave us like half of it up front and half of it over the next, you know, three years or something like that. It, it doesn't really matter. But why did they buy a player and put him on an amateur contract? That seems like a poor investment, right? How did we get so lucky to be the only game being played today? All the television eyeballs are on us. Surely that's got to be good for the income, right? We're away from home. They're hosting. 
Oh, hello. All right, so here's how I'm going to handle this um, as we go through. They want us to play very, very defensive. I don't really blame you, but we're going to... I, I kind of look at this game as a let's get set into how we're going to try and play this season. I think we're going to get run off the pitch, to be honest with you. So we'll, we'll do a little balanced action here. I just don't think super defensive is going to work. We've already got the midfield on defend, okay? So this is how we line up. Kramer, Diaz... Morrison, Kishna, um, Shaquille, somebody I'd love if you'd give me an idea of, in Dutch, how to say his name. Um, uh, Kees? Wait, wait, when you highlight his name, Cornelius Henricus Johannes de Boer? Oh, I've got a favorite already, my friends. Leif Davis, Bayern, Johnny Zevalon. And Rachu with Koopmans in between the sticks, my friends. And then the rest of the, t <laughs> the entire team, except for Zwinkles and Pascu and, and uh, Gossens, who is injured. Of course, he's got three weeks left on a hamstring strain. Score predictions? How badly are we going to get wrecked? I, I'm a little I'm a little nervous. Oh, a little auto number for everybody who loves a little auto number. First game with Otto Den Hag. The goal, again, my friends, is to not get sacked and to not get relegated this season. Let's go show everybody what we're capable of. Trying to big them up. Trying to big them up. We're, we're building we're, we're building rapport. Um, I will, after this episode, I'll most likely just skip all of the press conferences. And even with this one, I might answer a couple of them because usually I just realized your first, you know, uh, it, it, uh, broadcast interview is usually quite long, so let's see. Let's see. Uh, it's a special day. Want to get started? Um, yeah, we'll just look at it as another match because we're going to get wrecked. Oh, just the two questions. I like this. I like this new look. At least it's new to me as of, uh, you know, non-beta. Yeah, I guess that's the auto fans here. Uh, little league table action. Let's uh, let's get some sound going here. All right, we're on key highlights. Leaf Davis pings it in. Six foot six, Kramer almost. Is it Kramer or Kramer? I probably should look that up. Kramer, you know. <laughs> Can you imagine if we'd scored that? Okay, okay, cheeky across the face of your own goal, Davis. What you doing, mate? Okay, nice control and tackled. Maybe we should move it more. Uh, you can't, you know, you do all this, all this stuff in the in the preseason where you you come up with your ideas around your tactical. Are they going to give a penalty that? Come on! Oh, if you are new to my channel, this is this is classic GHG right here. Is getting a penalty in a big game, which you know, start of the season against Ajax, I think you could say is a big game away from home. Oh, oh, no designation. He's going to come out and point. That's why. No, oh, oh, have our fortunes changed? Have our fortune is it a dive? Just get a, get a little yellow for the dive. Really? Anybody? No, just me. Okay. Oh, oh it's like you recognize the the names of the IX play. Oh, it's oh, it was so good until it wasn't. That was an attempt. I mean, he's trying to make a play on the ball. Kind of is what it is. Oh. Okay. Again, I was saying, like, you do all this stuff in preseason, you're like, I think, you know, based off of our team's attributes and all that kind of stuff, I, th I think this is what we need to try and do. And then, you know, you you concede in the first 10 minutes or 12 minutes or 15, it doesn't really matter. You're like, oh, throw it all out, panic. He's like, no, no, come on, boys. Nice and, nice and calm. Okay. A little, I mean, Koopmans is already wasting that time. I'm standing on the sideline doing this. That's fine. A little dramatic, a little catch and release there. Who's that going to, mate? I mean, I know he pinged it to you at like a million miles an hour, but come on. We're already frowning. We're already frowning. Really? Now he's composed. He's not composed. He doesn't look composed. He's anxious. Oh, dear. It's fine, boys. It's fine. We'll still we'll encouragement. We'll, we'll, you know, I can't give you a pat on the rear, but, you know, there you go. 
we're gonna start the league off the the, the season off at the bottom of the table. But I think we kind of knew that. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Edson Alvarez picks up a yellow. Can we get a man sent off and get an unexpected result? Kishna, pretty good on the set pieces. Uh, oh, it was all part of the plan. It was all part of the plan. Get in. Not exactly what you're expecting from the six foot six monster, but. You know, we intentionally doink it off the back of the end of the wall. It falls to to uh, Michelle, Michael, Kramer, Kramer. Hi, if you're watching. I was going to say we'd take a 1-1 one, one, um, going into the half, but I think we all know that's unlikely. Oh, it bounces off the top of the bar. Oh, a little Liverpool Everton there for all of you. Um, their XG is already over one. This is the more, you know, toned down XG that SI uses, but hey, you know, no complaints. No, now do we go defensive? Keep it up, boys. Keep it up. I think we might. I think we might. Try the defensive thing. I did add, uh, play for set, uh, for set pieces, because I think... Again, we've got a height advantage. So, well, I don't know if it's an advantage, but we've got some mighty tall players. So, can we just waste time for an entire half? That would be incredible. Two yellows, four Ajax. Come on, boys. Let's go. Let's go. A little more encouragement. Yes. Yes, they're liking it. They're liking it. Um, Bayern, our uh, left center back, not having a great game. Uh, don't worry, we've got 9,000 options. Although, do we, if we look at the quality, let's take a look. You know, um, if we drop Shaquille, he's playing really well. I don't think I like that drop off and he needs to learn the role. Dario Del Fabro. Do we rename him Fabio? Oh, they're both right footed only. Fantastic. Um, but he's definitely just a central defender. So, come on, son. And he's nervous. Exactly what you want to see. He's going to be the the one that gives up the actual penalty, isn't he? Tadic. Over. Is that a, is that double doinkage off the, off the, uh, off the bar? Or is that bouncing off of something else? I couldn't really tell. I mean, did I call it? That's Davis again. Twice. This seems inevitable. It's a penalty. You're getting a double dose today. Oh no, it's Del Fabro, of course. I called it. I called it. Oh dear. Let's try balanced again, lads. And and honestly, uh, Anybody want to come play out wide? Anybody? Kadic was pretty good in preseason. Get some fresh legs that aren't on a 6.5 in. I could take DeBoer off as well. Yeah, it's, it's, that is uncanny. I... I mean, what do you want for me? I could... He was nervous. Maybe I, maybe, maybe in a big game I shouldn't have played a nervous guy. Come on, boys. There's still time. You know what? If you told me we'd only have a negative one goal differential at the start of this game, I probably would have taken it. Good effort, lads. A little disappointed in the, seat, in the center back. Um, yeah, there's some positives we could take home. Um, I don't think our play merited that result. I'd rather not talk about it. Morrison make, makes his debut. How about the rest of the team? <laughs> get, get, give me a break. I, I guess I was expecting a press conference, but here's what we're going to do, my friends, because that didn't take all that long. We're going to hop forward and play RKC. RKC... Volvik, who my friends were also, they were in 18th last season and should have been relegated with us. So it's the battle of the relegated 
but saved by a pandemic teams. Let's go see if we can get the job done. Before we hop into the RKC game, I just want to show you Gianni's career history. You talk about a journeyman. Starts at Feyenoord. Okay. Gets loaned out to RKC. Then, I guess, leaves at some point to go to Heronveen. Gets sold for $4 million to West Brom, so goes to England. Goes on loan to the championship to Ipswich. Leaves on a free to Mallorca for a season. Gets nine total appearances. Gets loaned to Heronveen for ten appearances. Leaves on a free to come back to Otto Den Haag. Or to back to, to start his Otto Den Haag career. Then leaves on a free... To go to Spain in the second division B1. I guess they got promoted. And then leaves on a free to go play for two teams in India. And then has come back. What a legend that is. Looking at the table, my friends. We're not last. Veve Well, okay. It's like a, a four-way tie for PS, PSV. Otto Den Hag, Heracles, and Veve Venlo. And then FC Emin and RKC are on a negative two goal differential. So we're not dead yet. Literally changing absolutely no one. It's a little early to be changing stuff. I, uh, I still have the set pieces on. I felt kind of bad because in the pr and the, like the press conference going back and forth, the RKC manager um, said that, you know, he thinks it'll be tough, but we have a, a good chance of staying up. And then the next question for us, after they made that comment, like, oh, what's your reaction? The next question was, who do you, who do you favor to go down? And I was like, RKC. <laughs> and, he, and afterwards, you know, it shows their, their manager's reaction. He's like, yeah, it's going to be tough for us. That's why I thought that they would be, uh, you know, fit to staying up and we might not. And I was like, sorry, mate. But there's no guarantee. I mean, we, we're starting off with the same number of points. So, um, we're favorites. If we're favorites, why did our assistant want us to play cautious? Um, yeah, apparently we don't have a relationship. That's not really surprising. Um, only two, not as many questions as in the Premier League with, with the beta save. All right. All right, lads. Come on. Come on. 4 2 3 1 versus. 4-3-3. Three, three. Let's go. Here come the teams. Kicking it's our home opener. Come on, boys. Our striker is a squad player, but I just think if you can use a six foot six player to your advantage, you probably should. Like that just seems like a he's picked up a yellow. He's gonna get sent off. I'm gonna say that he's going to get sent off, isn't he? He's like, hey, I'm not supposed to play every game. Could you sub me off? <laughs> He's sending a signal, people. Oh, come on, we gotta get... We got .45. We haven't had a single highlight, and yet we've had four shots, two in target, with a pretty decent XG thus far. We're getting into good positions. We're just not finishing the job. Okay, short corner routine. No, we don't... We didn't even... I definitely thought that was one of our players grabbing the ball in all yellow. You might... If you're playing the team whose home colors are green and yellow... Shouldn't there be a rule that you can't wear bright yellow as the goalkeeper? Ravel? Or Ravel? Dagummit, I practiced that. And it's Cramer, according to Google Translate. It's off. Oh, he deflected it up. Shaquille passes to, to uh, DeBoer. Who, why did he pass it back to him? He's like, hey, mate, there's a man standing right on my shoulder. He's kind of like giving me a bear hug from behind. It's kind of awkward. Okay, we're picking out a pass, and it's a poor one. A .81 in the XG. Oh, we're going to go attacking, I think. I'm going to I'm gonna take Kramer. It was like Mi Michel Kramer, according to Google Translate or something like that. Or Mikiel. I don't know. Um, I'm not happy, lads. <sighs> it seems like a mistake, but it's, you know, like, we got to score. You got to score points against teams like this. You just... You just do. Um, so, Arweiler or Jonas comes in. As you do. Come on. Where Can I talk to him? Where's he at? All the way down here. That's not any more convenient. Go make a difference. Look at the nerves. Davis is nervous. Goodness me, people. Come on. Like, I'm nervous because you're taking us attacking. 
Don't worry, we've not had a single shot in the in the second half. Now that we're there, we go. Come on, boys. Come on. Come on, boys. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, Diaz is not having a great start to his career with us. Last game, he was a 6.4. Right now, he is a 6.3. A a and it's always good when your right back is the next best option. Oy vey. Our keeper is on a 6.1. Oh, is this what the series is going to be like? It's kind of painful. I'm not going to lie. Van Ivik is going to come on. We're going to put you, you know, against a team like this. Let's go support. Let's get a little crazy. And we'll put Morrison on attack as well. He's pretty good. Get the ball at his feet. We're not getting any highlights. This is not the entertainment we're here for. Uh, am I going to go? Am I going to really take off a midfielder? I think I am. To bring on another striker. We, ha we have to get points. We have to. What can you do? It's a lot of target, but... Can you do anything else? Nope. Nope. Both left-footed, so it doesn't really matter. Pokemon pressing forward. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get us a highlight. And again, this, this may blow up in our face and end up with a goal for them, but... I mean, they haven't had... A single shot on target. We've had 10 with 5 on target. A .98 XG. We just have not finished the job. You know what? Oh dear. I'm going to I'm gonna sub this guy off again. I'm not bringing him on. I'm, you know what? Ooh, I'm going to give you another shot, brother. Okay. He's, he's at least composed. Maybe it's because he's got a teammate with him to, to sub on with. Morrison plays it back. Okay, gets it back. Shaquille. Del Fabro. Okay, steps forward. This is looking brighter. Okay. Kind of an overlap there. Plays it in. What a finish from Nikos Karelis, the Greek striker. I think he's Greek that we picked up. That's what. This is our first goal at home. He zipped that in there, didn't he? Get in, son. And we're immediately going to drop it to positive. <laughs> Let's not go crazy. Let's not go crazy, lads. Let's take the three points if we can. Okay. There's enough time for this to go terrible with a counterattack. Morrison collects. What a terrible attempt of a tackle. Oh, no. Okay, we're, we have f five players back. We have five. We have five players back. Just, just, yeah, shepherd him outside. That's fine. Okay, 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 okay. We're the. Oh my gosh, we were there, and then we weren't, and then the keeper was in no man's land on a six point two. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be this hard. Oh, Koopmans, Ooh, I love you. Hanging with Mister Cooper. He just looked. I bet he just stared the ref down. He's just like. You gonna blow the whistle? You gonna? A, a deserved winners, I think. <sighs> Always good when you be positive. Okay, yes, of course I'm pleased he came off the bench and scored. Um, very happy with our defensive display there. We're mid table. I mean, a bunch of teams haven't played, but for the time being, we have points. <laughs> All right, my friends, I would like your thoughts on how many points you think it takes to stay up. Looking at last season, which ended after 26 games, Otto Den Haag had 19 points and were seven points from safety. Okay, so imagine that there was another eight games, to, or no, 10 games to be played there. If there's 
no, eight, eight games. Yeah, 34 games that you play because 18 teams, 34 games. Is it 30 points that's safety? Because if so, we're a tenth of the way there. <laughs> I'm quite pleased. Um, the, uh, the, the Dutch Cup, we enter the competition on October 27th which I believe means we are in the first round. So the draw is on October 7th. I'm just going to bring you back for whoever we get, because I think that's that's not a terrible length of time, right? We're going to come back after, what, one, two, three, four league games, theoretically? Of course, we play Feyenoord right before the Cup. That's fan-freaking-tastic. So that's the next time you're going to see us. The board have zero expectations of us in terms of the Cup, and they just want us to I, I, avoid a relegation battle and then... After, a, you know, a middling season, I guess, um, then finish in the top half season. Th that's kind of where the board wants us to be from a long-term standpoint. Um, if you've enjoyed this episode, my friends, hit that like button. I know we hit a like target on the last one of 100. Could we get this one to 100? That would be absolutely massive to do two episodes, especially because I'm releasing lots of content with the uh, Turf More Tiki Taka coming out as well. So if you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, and we will see you next time, which should be tomorrow. As we, as we get to the Dutch Cup. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.